Okay guys, let's talk about exponents. We're gonna use them a lot in this class, so this video is a quick refresher. And we're gonna to need to know about five, we're gonna go over sort of five main things. We're gonna define them. We're gonna talk about those, the reciprocal or slash how you deal with negative exponents. We're gonna talk about multiplication of exponent exponentiated terms we'll talk about division and we'll also talk about taking the exponential of an exponential so exponential squared so this little squared term that tells us that we're on the we're talking about exponents all right and the main idea here is it's just a shorthand way of writing multiplication repeated right so if we have three x's we don't have to write three x's each time. This is a variable x, and the dot represents multiplication. You can write that as x cubed, all right? If you just have two of them, that's x squared. If you just have one of them, that's x to the one. Easy enough when they're integers like this, but we can keep going. We could say x to the zero, and what's that gonna be equal to? It's actually equal to one. Why? Well x to the zeroth power is saying there's no multiplication. There's no x's anywhere here. Uh, so if we multiply something by one, it's like we're not doing anything. So that's kind of why it's x to the zero there. We could also keep going. x to the negative one power is one over x. And uh, x to the negative two power is one over x times one over x. Okay. Now this is, that's our definition section. Oops, not a great box. All right, let's do the uh, reciprocal rule or negative exponents. So the general idea you get from here and here. In general, if you have x to the power of a, that can be rewritten as one over x to the power of negative a. And a could be negative, right? Another way to write this is x to the power of negative a is equivalent to one over x to the a, where a is just any number, okay? So this is a useful rule to remember. Uh, it makes things like multiplication and division, I think, if you can remember that in concert with them, then it's sort of easy to see why those rules hold. So let's talk about multiplying exponents now. All right, so suppose we have x squared multiplied by x cubed. Well, let's use our definitions. We've got x cubed is three x's and x squared is two x's. So it's x times x times three more x's. And now we've got five x's multiplied together. So that's equal to x to the fifth. And that's also the same as x to the two plus three power and those were the exponents. And in fact, that's basically the multiplication rule. If we have, let's leave this here. If we've got x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b, that's equal to x to the power of a plus b, okay? As a side note, if you have like x squared times y cubed, where y is something different than x, you can't do this trick, right? They both have to be, it has to be the same variable raised to different exponents. It can't be uh, something like, uh, that's, that, that's nothing, don't do this, okay? All right, division, we're gonna combine multiplication and the uh, reciprocal kind of rule to get how you do division with exponents. In general, suppose you have x squared divided by x cubed. Well, we could write this as x times x divided by x times x times x. We could cancel some terms. So we could cancel one of these x's, cancel another one, and we would be left with one over x. Now we know from the uh, this rule up here, that this is equal to x to the power of negative one. We can write this as one over x to the first power. And 
you may have noticed that that's also equal to x to the power of 2 minus 3. And in general, that actually is the rule. So I'm trying to scroll here. All right, here we go. If you have some x to the a divided by x to the b, this is equal to x to the a minus b. And that's easy to see because equivalently we could say x to the a divided by x to the b is equal to x to the a times 1 over x to the b. And we could write that second one as x to the negative b. And then we could add these two terms together using the multiplication rule, and we would get x to the a plus negative b, or just x to the a minus b. So these are the kind of things we do a lot in this class. So it's good to be like really confident uh, with these rules, that you just subtract the term with a num uh, in the bottom. You subtract the exponent on the term in the bottom from the one on the top. The last thing we had was exponents of exponents. So suppose you have x squared raised to the power of 3. Okay, That's going to be equal to x squared times x squared times x squared. And each one of those is equal to x times x times x times x times x times x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, We've got x to the 6th power, which you may have noticed is the same as x to the power of 2 times 3. Okay, And that's the general rule. If you have x to the power of a and you raise that whole thing to the power of b, then that can be rewritten as x to the power of a times b. Okay, And this is sort of useful also for defining how you think about uh, exponents that are not actually whole numbers. Okay, so I'm trying to scroll down here. Here we go. So I wrote x to the third, second, first, zeroth power, and so on. But you can have things like x to the one half. That's no problem at all. And how do you define that? Well, you know, it's the kind of term that if you square it you would end up with x to the power of 1 half times 2, or x to the power of 1, which is just x. So x to the power of 1 half is some kind of number that if you multiply it by itself, if you square it, you get x back. Okay, And you can have negative uh, fractions. You can have uh, positive fractions. You can have all sorts of mixes. But these are the main rules. And that's all you really need to sort of get through this course for exponents.